I'll, I'll answer that, damn it. All right, Dad. Your dad gave Lester Mason an awful bawling out. Now he's going to stop taking lessons. That's too bad. Dad's temper is getting worse and worse. Yes, and now he has only one paying pupil left. Yeah, Dickie Morley. I don't like him either. Just because his dad owns a grocery store, he puts on airs. And he's always trying to make up to me. But you've got to hand it to him. He certainly studies hard. I hate playing piano accompaniments for him, even if your dad does give me 50 cents a lesson. I wish I had half his patience for practicing. Oh, but Johnny, you can play circles around him. Not the way Dad thinks. I've got to learn control, repose. It's awful hard, Mary. You know the way I like to play? How? I'd like to play like a bird flies, this way and that, up and down, winging and swinging through the air. No control, whistling, singing, shouting, just music. I think I know what you mean. Let's play humorous again. You swing it, and I'll just run wild. I do, Mr. Williams. I hope I'm not late. No, Dickie, you're right on time. Johnny, do you realize what you are doing? You're desecrating a classic. You're committing a crime against music. Don't you ever let me hear you play that way again. No, sir. That goes for you, too, young lady. Yes, sir. Now, clear out. I'd never do a thing like that, Mr. Williams. I wish Johnny had half of your ambition. You had half of his talent. I think swing is terrible. I don't see why Johnny wants to play like that. Oh, that's all right. Let, let me hear your lesson. Come on. Supreme Glaciola products. Just a minute, I'll get it for you. Mr. Tilton. Gentlemen, to see you. Yes, sir. And what can I do for you? I want to see if you can add to my personal charm. Yes. We make a personal study of making people look better. That's my point. You see, I'm on the verge of being a concert artist. Is that so? And what do you play? Well, I don't mean to be shining my own apples, but they tell me I'm as great on a banjo as Mr. Arthur Williams was on the violin. Do you know Mr. Williams? I heard his last recital and understand he'll be playing again soon. Yes? And well, believe me, when he does, I'll be there. I picked up a lot of tricks from that fellow. That's great. You know, you should be smart looking, sparkling when you make your personal appearance. You're right. Looks mean everything. And that's what I need, everything. But Mr. Stilton, I want your personal guarantee that if I use your glaciola, it won't turn my hair red. That would be fatal to my career. Miss Williams, will you write out a personal guarantee that our supreme glaciola will give him that million dollar look? Yes, sir. It will add to your personal charm, Mr. Stringbean. Oh, now, will you excuse me, please? How do you know Mr. Williams will play again? I don't know. Ain't he gonna play? I hope so. I always dreamed of the day when I could play in a joint recital with Mr. Williams. 